Here we're going to check concentricity. I've got a, a pin that has about a roughly quarter inch diameter body and a somewhat larger diameter head. And this head is to be concentric with the body of the thing, which means that both of them are lying on the same axis of rotation. This part's called a V-block, and it's got precision ground V in it. This is only one way that you could do this. I could put the pin in there and then rotate it, and it'll you know rotate uniformly as long as it rests squarely on that V. Bring the indicator over in contact with the head, zero it, and rotate. So this appears to be the low low point. Zero it again, rotate it, goes up to maximum of two thousandths total indicator reading, which just means the total movement of the dial, total medium movement of the point. So the point is moving up and down two thousandths and the uh, graduations on the dial show you how much movement that is. So once again, one full rotation of the pin goes from zero to two thousandths total indicator reading or uh, full indicator movement, I believe the book says. So FIM or TIR be common common terms used to represent the amount of movement of the needle. So a full rotation, two thousandths. So that means this head is running out of perfect concentricity with reference to the shank of the pin. So I'll zoom in. Zoom in and give you a better look at that. And there you are. That's 